Hi, it's Robin here from Intelligent Point of Sale. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use layouts. So if we log in and go to the settings area of the app and down to the layout section, you can see that this area gives us three options. We can create an automatic layout from a category, create a new manual layout, or manage the order of the layout buttons. Our existing layouts are in the active section and we can also go in and edit these if we wish. I'll start off by explaining the create auto layout from category. Creating an automatic layout from a category is exactly what it says. It is creating a layout, which is the on screen button display area from an existing category of products. So what this will do, if you select it, will bring up any categories which you haven't made into an automatic layout and give you the option to generate them into an automatic layout. And you can see at the bottom of the active section, the mains have now appeared as a new layout and all of the products within the mains category will now appear on the, on the panel layout. This, uh, this particular category doesn't have any products in it, um, but what we can do is once we're into the panel layout, we can add some. So it's just a simple matter of clicking the add product button at the top. We can use the search bar to search through the products, um, or we can just simply select the products to add them to the screen. If we click out of the box, that will make the, the view disappear and you can see that we can move around our products to wherever we want to have them on the screen. We can also tap them to delete them and we can add spaces. These spaces are shown on the editor, but when they're actually shown on the main sales screen, they just appear as blanks. So these are really handy if you want to move other products onto a separate line on the screen to separate out different types of products within each screen layout. The final thing you can do from the layout panel editor is add a portion control. You can add existing portions as buttons and you can also move these around to wherever you want to have them. If we save this and update our layout, that will now be active on the main sales screen under your category. The next item that I'm going to show you in the layout section is the new layout button. This gives you the ability to create uh, a manual layout. Um, and it's just as simple as giving it a name and ensuring that the layout is visible and you can also give it a button color. If we go in and edit it, it's just the same as before. We can add the products and we can add the spaces and save it. So if we update that, this will also now appear on our main sales screen. The final option in layouts is the ability to manage the order of the layout buttons and this allows you to move the layout buttons around um, at the bottom of the screen. So if you just long press on the one that you w wish to move and drag it to the position that you want it to be in. Finally you can switch off a layout from being visible by switching the layout visible switch to the off position and hitting update. This will now move it into the inactive section. And you can see if we go back to the main screen, your first category has disappeared.